KB Retail Manager and we're going to demonstrate to you today how to enter a sale on Laybuy. To do this we go to our sales screen and first of all we enter our staff code. Now what we'll have to do is pick up a customer's name. We can't record a Laybuy without knowing who the customer actually is. So for our example here we'll choose, choose customer Steve Fuller. Again we bounce across to the custom field which we can tab through and at this point we choose the code of the item we wish to sell. So we're going to take a look up and in this case we're going to, to choose our food mixer. We enter through. Okay, so generally what would happen is this item is going to stay with us until it's fully paid off. But on the first visit the customer would normally put a deposit down and leave the rest of the sale, if you like, on lay-by. They'll progressively come in and pay off their lay-by until the balance is zero. And at that point, they'll take away the goods and the sale is completed. So come down to the payment details. Let's assume we've taken an FPOS payment for $30. We'll add that through. And we'll choose L to jump down to lay-by. And that puts the difference into lay-by and creates a lay-by in your retail manager. We were asked for some serial numbers. At this stage, we'll just click on uh, continue, yes. And the first, the deposit is down on the lay-by and the lay-by goods are committed, or the goods are committed to a lay-by. We can see on the docket the value of the goods and the value of the payment to date and what's owing. Okay, a week later, the customer comes back in again to make a further payment. To do the further payment, we need to go to our transaction and lay by payments. Enter our staff code, enter our customer name, and up comes our lay by ID on the right. The customer could have various lay bys with us, generally, they might have just one. So, what we're going to do here is tab through. And again, we've got another payment. This time we'll put it onto Visa. He's going to pay $40 off his lay-by. And what you do now is you put the, the leftover back onto lay-by. We'll carry through the serial number and we'll commit the sale. If we scroll down, we can see we've had a Visa payment for $40. We've had total pay to date 70. The amount owing now is $96.23. Let's shut down. We'll do one further payment, a, further, a final payment for this lay-by. So we'll type in our staff code. We'll find our customer. There's the goods. We'll tab down. And the final payment we can say is FPOS. He's paying the final payment of, of $96.23. We'll go enter. We'll enter through the serial number um, message and we'll commit the transaction. Now, Retail Manager will ask us that this lay-by has been paid in full. Is the customer taking the goods? We will indeed say yes. Now we have a real sale. We scroll down. The sales docket, we've now converted our lay by to a sale. Just one more thing on this if by some chance the customer comes in having made a deposit and wishes, wishes to renege on their lay by um, deal, then you can come in and you can do a refund. So notice here we've got the refund button. If you go in there and click that through, that will allow you to refund the. the the amount of money paid back to the customer. You could also arrange a fee to come off that for administration.